Hi there, and welcome back to yet another in our series of uh, Code Zong videos, specifically on Code Combat. If you watched my last video, you saw that we actually completed the very first level of Code Combat. And uh, what I wanted to do is just do a really super quick, kind of short video to show you what you face when you get to that point in Code Combat, when you've actually completed all of those levels inside the Kithgar dungeon, I wanted you to have a look and see what you're presented with when you actually get out of there. So we've come out of the dungeon, we're now outside in the forest, and we've got one thing that we can actually accomplish right now, it's uh, highlighting this area for us to actually get started with. So I'm not going to take you through a whole series of, uh, of, of lessons, but I did want to at least let you have a look at this and, and see what you've got uh, in store for you. I'll go ahead and click on this. And uh, it's a level called Boom and Bust. Uh, it says that there was only one way the Kithgar dungeon could end in fire. Use explosive charges to demolish the gates and escape the dungeon. Interesting. All right. Basic syntax, arguments, and strings. That's stuff that we know. Let's go ahead and press play. Okay, I'm going to keep everything that I've got equipped currently. I'm not going to change anything. We do have the shield available to us, but we learned in the previous videos that the one that we're already holding is better. So let's go ahead and press play and see if we can actually give a more official close to our, our previous session in the Kithgard dungeon. Let's do it and see what we've got. We have to break down the door and escape. It's that simple, but it sounds like we're going to be using explosive. Let's press start and see what we've got to do. Let me pause this and we'll take a look. So we've got these two X's here. Let's see, what else do we have in this game screen? Obviously we've got this really large door here, so we need to make sure that we get to these two red X's and we have to do something critical. It looks like we need some sort of a hint to tell us what we need to do. And then we've got sort of the outside here. So we're actually still technically in the Kithgar dungeon. We've got to do a little bit of work to get outside. We've got some barrels over here in the game screen. But we might find some more hints if we just come over here to our code screen and see what our hints are telling us. So let's look at these code comments. It says, use your build XY hammer to build two fire traps near the gate. They will detonate when you move back to a safe distance, then make a run for the forest. Okay, we can do that. Let's have a look. We know that we need to move forward one two th three is it three spots let's see let's go ahead and move right let's move right three times and see if that just puts us no it's not gonna let me do that let's stop he can't get there let's do this instead let's just move right I don't see our little moving markers anyway, so we'll go ahead and we'll move right. And then we'll build. Then we'll move up. And then we'll build there too. Oh, nope. That's giving me a little bit of a hint. Let me move right. Let me try that. Move right twice. No? Move right. I think that's it. Okay. Hmm. That doesn't look right, does it? Looks like it's gonna stop me right here. I wanna make sure I get to that red X. Use your build XY hammer to build two fire traps near the gate. Well, okay. Let me try this. Let's see if this will work. Not the fence. But fire trap. I need the coordinates. 35, 29. So we'll use 35 and 29. I'm assuming that I have to walk up to those red X's. It could be that I actually don't. It could be that I just need to actually specify that that's where I want to build. In fact, that might be a pretty safe assumption. I'm going to go with that, actually. I'll remove my, my move expressions there. So 35 and 35 is where the other X is. So 35 and 35. Let me take care of my first expression there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build and then I'm just going to move away. I'm going to move left. 
two times. Let's try that instead. Let's see what that does for us. So I build the fire trap, build another one. Then I move left all the way back to the door. And things blow up. Obviously, I now need to move right four times. And run that. And then I'm out of there. That was it. I broke down the door, and I escaped. Let's press submit. Looks like it's gonna replay it for us in full screen. That must be uh, to make it ultra dramatic for us. So we have escaped. We're in good shape. We got our experience points, we got our gems. We're now able to continue. We should be officially done with Kithgard. We are indeed. We're now in the Backwoods Forest. So what I'll do, just to kind of kick this off, is I'll do one more, and we'll see what kinds of uh, challenges we face in this new world in Code Combat. We're going to protect the peasant village of Plainswood from the ogres using basic syntax arguments and strings, so nothing new here. We're going to keep everything that we've got and we'll just press play. Villagers need to survive. And we need to make sure that we have no code problems in order to get a bonus. Let's start this level and see what we've got. Undito. All right. So, we need to make sure that we're using our new Build XY skill to build two fences. We probably have to build a fence right here. And another fence right here. I see a bad guy and he's just standing there. So, let's go ahead. We'll get the coordinates here for this X. Coordinates are... 40 and 52. So we'll do a build XY. Make sure that we're building a fence. Coordinates again are 40 and 52. So we'll do 40 and 52. And then we've got an X right here. If we build a fence right here, that's going to be 40 and 20. So let me go ahead and build a fence at 40 and 20. That seems pretty simple. Let's go ahead and run it and see if that's all that we need to do. Build the fence. That keeps the bad guys out. Build another fence over here. Keeps that bad guy out. That was pretty much all that we needed to do in this one. We had success. The villagers survived. None of the bad guys got in there. And we had no code problems. So I'll go ahead and click done. And we got experience points. We got gems. And of course, because of our bonus, more experience points and more gems. I got uh, a little extra bonus there. It looks like I've earned leather boots. We'll click on continue. And what we're going to do is we're just going to call it a day there. So we've managed to escape Kithgard Dungeon. We're now in the forest, and it looks like we've got plenty of things to explore down the road. But we will pause it here for now, and we'll bring this video to a close. We'll see if there's more things that we can uh, uncover in the Code Zonk series, and we'll give Code Combat a bit of a break. But I thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do make sure that you like it and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got more like this to come. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video.